out this fascinating YouTube video that explores the rich history and symbolism of snakes in different cultures and mythologies. From ancient Egyptian mythology to Norse legends, snakes have been portrayed as both agents of destruction and sources of healing. Join us on this journey to unravel the captivating stories and symbolism behind these mesmerizing creatures. Welcome to our channel. We are thrilled to have you here and we hope you enjoy our content. If you find our videos interesting and valuable, we kindly ask you to show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing our content with others. Your engagement means a lot to us and helps us grow. There are approximately 3,900 species of snakes found worldwide, with their distribution ranging from the Arctic Circle in Scandinavia to the arid deserts of Australia. Snakes can be found on every continent except Antarctica. Out of these species, around 600 are venomous and only a small portion of them have the potential to cause fatal harm to humans. The saw-scaled viper is considered the most lethal snake in terms of human fatalities. This particular species has caused more human deaths compared to any other snake, surpassing even the inland taipan, black mamba, and king cobra. Saw-scaled vipers are found in arid regions and dry savannas across Africa, Arabia, southwestern Asia, India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan. They have a stout body, pear-shaped head, vertically elliptical pupils, rough and strongly keeled scales, and a short, thin tail. They grow to lengths of 1 to 5 feet and have venomous bites. Saw-scaled vipers have obliquely arranged serrated scales on both sides of their body, which give them their name. They are nocturnal and hunt for various prey, including mammals, birds, lizards, amphibians, invertebrates, and other snakes. They are either egg-laying species in northern Africa or live-bearing species in the Middle East and Southern Asia. Saw-scaled vipers are easily alarmed and have an aggressive nature. They move using sidewinding locomotion and produce a rattling hiss or sizzle as a warning to predators or trespassers. Their venom is highly dangerous to humans, causing a range of lethal symptoms and potentially leading to death. The venom also destroys tissues around the bite mark, which can result in the loss of fingers, toes, or limbs. Saw-scaled vipers are responsible for a significant number of snakebite-related deaths and amputations each year. Encounters between humans and saw-scaled vipers can be fatal, especially in areas with limited medical facilities and healthcare education. The saw-scaled viper is different from other venomous snakes in various ways. The saw-scaled viper has a large amount of venom and can kill multiple humans with a single bite. The saw-scaled viper is not as large as the king cobra which is the world's largest venomous snake. The king cobra's venom is potent enough to kill an elephant. The saw-scaled viper's bite is more dangerous than that of the boom's lang, a snake found in African thickets. The saw-scaled viper stands out due to its camouflage, aggressive behavior towards humans, and its proximity to densely populated areas in Africa, the Middle East, India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan. The saw-scaled viper has a high kill ratio compared to other snakes due to unfortunate circumstances. If the inland taipan lived in densely populated areas, it would have a higher kill score than the saw-scaled viper. Saw-scaled viper bites can be treated with proper healthcare services and treatments. It is important to prevent movement of the affected limb and not let the venom circulate. Amputation may be necessary in worst-case scenarios to ensure survival. Antivenin therapy and intravenous hydration are effective methods to save victims without amputation. Resources and healthcare are scarce in marginalized areas where saw-scaled viper attacks are common. India has the highest rate of snake bite deaths, but funds for quality antidotes are lacking. Distribution of antivenins can be problematic, especially in rural hospitals. The potency and volume of the venom affect the effectiveness of antivenin. Some people rely on natural or folk remedies before seeking hospital treatment. Research is being done on preventing snake venom activation and developing more diverse antivenins. Recommendations include manufacturing region-specific antivenin, synthesizing a diverse antivenin, and supporting local healthcare services, awareness, prevention, and further research are needed to address the issues posed by saw-scaled vipers. Stay tuned for our next video, where we will continue to provide you with engaging and informative content. Thank you for being a part of our community. Until then, Take care and goodbye. We delve into the depths of extensive research and invest a significant amount of time to bring you valuable information. Our relentless dedication and hard work are aimed at delivering a high-quality outcome. We kindly request your support in our journey by liking, subscribing, and sharing our content. Your encouragement fuels our motivation to continue producing informative videos.
Join us in our pursuit of knowledge and help us make a difference. Thank you for your support.